Hi everybody, it's Steamy Ann again, and last time I asked you what 600 Virgins, A Countess, and Disney World all had in common, but today we're actually going to find out with a little discussion about Elizabeth Bathory. The Countess Elizabeth Bathory was born in 1560 on August 7th and she was known as the Blood Countess. After her husband died, she and four collaborators were accused of killing hundreds of young women and girls. Now, she was only convicted of 80 of these murders, but she is said to have committed over 600. The Countess was said to have been bathing in the blood of virgins in order to retain her youth. She is compared to Vlad the Impaler and is also known as the Countess Dracula. Now what makes her really interesting is that she was a very educated woman who was very much about women's rights. She is said to have intervened on several occasions for women whose husbands had been captured during the wars or even in one instance a woman whose daughter had been raped and impregnated. Now to kind of explain this weird dichotomy between her helping women and her strange pastimes, it is also said that she had strange seizures as a young woman. Now this could have been due to psychological disorder or perhaps epilepsy, but it might explain her erratic and psychotic behavior later in life. As was typical for the time period, she was married at the age of 12, and upon entering her husband's castle, she was introduced to his dungeons and special modes of discipline. While it doesn't seem that he actually tortured anyone himself, he was really hard on his servants and even on his wife. He introduced Elizabeth to some strange ways of being hard on the servants, such as covering them in honey and leaving them outside tied up for bugs to eat at and sting, and also taught her how to freeze a young girl during the winter by covering her in water and waiting for her to harden. In around 1600, her husband died, and that's when Elizabeth really started to dabble in the occult and become quite deranged. She was said to have been practicing sorcery and really trying to explore what kind of supernatural things could give her extra powers. She was already quite cruel and it is said that all of this strange behavior really took a turn when a maid was brushing her hair and pulled it too hard. Elizabeth turned and slapped the girl on the hand so hard that it drew blood and as she was holding her hand and bleeding, some of it dripped onto Elizabeth's skin, and she believed that that part of her skin became very soft. So she stripped the maid, cut her throat, and drained all of her blood into a bath. Now, as a little side note, blood does actually contain a lot of nutrients that are very good for the skin and hair. Um, so while this isn't quite a good practice, it was quite useful for her and she did become a lot softer and have very shiny hair. After this incident, a couple of her trusted maids started bringing her other girls that she could use for this purpose. Um, actually, Elizabeth started off trying to give these girls proper burials at a local Protestant church, but after a while, she kept bringing in these girls who had died of unknown causes, and the priest got a little suspicious, and he refused to do any more burials. So Elizabeth just started disposing of the bodies in various locations around the castle. So around 1610, one of these girls actually managed to escape and alert the authorities of what was going on in this castle. So the authorities stormed the castle and were just horrified at what they found. There were dead bodies of girls in the main rooms. There were barely alive girls in the dungeons who were pierced full of holes. And they exhumed around 50 bodies from underneath the castle. 
which is how she was only convicted of 80 deaths. After the girls were freed and were able to testify, they spoke of being tortured for weeks or even months. They were pricked and prodded or cut with scissors, burnt with burning irons, or even hung from cages to provide Elizabeth with a blood shower. Now, the own nurse actually testified to about 40 of the deaths, but it wasn't until they found Elizabeth's own diary that they were able to make an accurate body count. She had documented each of the deaths in detail, and it came out to be 612. Due to her nobility, Elizabeth was not allowed by law to be executed for her crimes, and she was never actually convicted of any but she was confined to her castle until the day she died. They put her in her own torture dungeon and then walled up every door and left a small hole to give her food through and there she stayed until she died. Now, her two accomplices that were still living, they suffered a little bit of a harsher fate. They had their fingers ripped out and were burned alive. Elizabeth stayed in this torture chamber for four years before she died. On the day of her death, it is said that one of the jailers got a little peek of her by peering through the hole in the wall. And as he saw her lying on the floor dead, he said that she was still one of the most beautiful women in Hungary. So we've answered two of the questions. I know I've related 600 virgins and a countess together, Oh yeah, Walt Disney. Well, it seems that he heard this story and knew about her and decided that he would make an exact replica of her castle. That's right, Snow White's castle in Disney World is an exact replica of Elizabeth Bathory's death castle. Please leave me some comments below and let me know what you would like to see in a future video. All right, everybody, I know you love her and you miss her, so stay tuned for the return of Pockets the Clown in a future video. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video talking about Elizabeth Bathory and her strange habits. Please leave me some comments, rate this video, and never forget, gotta subscribe. All right, bye. Hi everybody, it's Damian again, and last time I asked you what 600 virgins, uh, something, countess, yep, Ero erratic, uh, and psychotic, okay, not erotic, <laughs> I would make this story way more interesting, uh, especially after all the blood's like all gross on the floor, gross, <clears throat> all right. All right, thanks for learning a little bit about Liz, no.